Where am I going today? <laughs> Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Proper. My last video was about coding messages. So a little bit of a spy theme and we'll continue on that today. With uh, I was thinking about uh, these guys during World War II who jumped behind enemy lines to uh, occupied France and uh, sent uh, their secret messages to uh, back to England. Here, for example, is a painting of Virginia Hall, an American spy uh, operating a spy radio with someone cranking a hand generator. She was with the uh, British SOE during World War II, later with the OSS and the uh, CIA. Lots of the operators were women, actually, and uh, she was lucky to survive. Their life expectancy was about six weeks, which is crazy. The Germans had trucks going around the cities, trying to uh, geolocate, so to speak, uh, triangulate signals to catch these guys. Uh, they could even uh, detect the oscillators in the, in the radios at very short range. So uh, it was a pretty uh, risky business. So we need, uh, well, to do a clandestine urban operation, and it's going to be HF, uh, short waves. We need a big city. A real big one. And here we are in Paris, in Neuilly. So I'm up in an apartment here, I'm kind of high. I think we're on the maybe the uh, third floor or something like that. So here's my setup. Here I have the uh, KX2. Kent Key and the uh, Elecraft T1 tuner. I chose that tuner because uh, it will tune pretty much anything. But the most interesting part of course is the antenna. And here I have a 6 meter wire strung across the room. So it isn't much. Um, it's better to have a horizontal wire in a city because most noise is vertically polarized. With uh, such a short wire, I would be much better off on 20 meters, but it's about midnight and uh, I'm trying 40 meters right now and I'm not hearing anything at all. So I heard a little bit of code on uh, 80 meters. I think we have to go back to 80, but 80 meters with a six meter wire as an antenna, <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to send a couple calls on uh, 3560, you never know, although I don't think that uh, using a 19 foot antenna when it should be 132 <laughs> is going to work. great thing about the KX2 is the uh, possibility to record a message and play it back on loop. Absolutely nothing on 40 meters. That is the lowest band I've been able to use with a 19 foot, you know, 6 meter antenna. I knew it wasn't going to work on 80 meters, no way. So I think we might have to uh, try again in the morning. Okay, one last call just to see if anything pops up on the uh, reverse beacon network. In the meantime, I thought I would uh, show you some cool stuff. Isn't that cool? I'm at uh, Le Bourget Airport <laughs> for a, an aviation job fair, helping a friend.
I don't hear anything. Absolutely nobody. Just faint signals, but... Nobody hears me either. No reports on the uh, reverse beacon network. So, no contacts. And sometimes, guys, it just doesn't work. I was surrounded by buildings and with a couple floors above me and just uh, wasn't getting anything. I mean, reception was pretty dismal. I couldn't hear anything. So, uh, I guess uh, that's a fail.